In this video, we'll explain how to inspect and if need be, replace your swing set hardware and seats. So here we have the swing hanger. You'll find these on the top rail. There should be two for each swing. So this will go on the top rail and it'll clamp down. And here you have your pendulum to create the swing motion. Here you would attach a chain that goes down to the swing. When inspecting your swing in your play area, you know, you want to start with your top rail. Here where your swing hanger is, you want to check your pendulum. See that it's moving good. Here you can notice that the nut and bolt has started to rust. We want to change out that hardware. Here we're checking the pendulum to make sure it still has a good range of motion. We drop down to the S-hook to make sure they're both securely closed on each side, which they are. There's some corrosion to the S-hook. We might want to replace those. Then we'll come down and we'll check this, the chain for any corrosion, any kinks. The chain, you can tell here, is fairly new, along with some new S-hooks. This is where I like to check to make sure, because this is where all the friction happens. You can see a little slight wear there, but that is fine. But sometimes there's too much wear and tear. This is the S-hook. It's wore out right here where it connects to the seat. Here's a bucket. You can see here it's already starting to crack. All right, we got ourselves a broken seat here. You can see where it's cracked. Here's where your S-hook or shack will meet and move with the seat. There's a lot of wear there. So whether it's the hardware, the seat, the chain, or the top hanger, let's get her fixed. When you're ready to replace your swing hardware, this is a top hanger that goes to your top post with the pendulum and the clevis. All right, we'll start with our Allen wrench. <laughs> and we'll loosen the bolt to the clevis that's connected to the top hanger. Then we'll slide our top link chain and our bolt back in place. Take our Allen wrench and tighten our bolt. So it's nice and secure. Choose your new seat, bucket or belt. Here we have a brand new seat, obviously in great condition. So typically this is where your S-hook or shackle will go. And this is where all the friction happens when the swing starts. Once you have your top hanger secured, we're gonna work, work our way down to the seat. We have an S-hook, they're commonly used to connect the swings. We prefer the D-shackle because it's a more of a safety feature, like fingers can't get pinched. It's designed so fingers don't get pinched. Whatever you use, it's time to connect seat to hardware. We'll take the bottom of our chain and connect it to this clevis. We'll loosen this bolt and pass it to the arm of the swing. Take our bottom chain, take our bolt, fasten it, tighten it with our Allen wrench until it's nice and secure. Now you're good to hang it all back on the swing set frame and rest easy knowing that your swing set is safe and secure.